Hi guys, welcome back and hello if you're new here, hope you're all well. So I filmed a bridal makeup kit video um, before this and now I wanted to film a bridal hair kit so that you can see all of the products that I keep in my hair kit for hair styling. Um, up do's, down do's and hopefully it'll be helpful to some of you to see what products I use, um, why I use them um, and all of that good stuff. So this is what I actually use to carry my hair kit. So this is from the company called Seaball. I got this from a Sally's Salon Services for really good price. I think it was like £20, but I've had it for so many years now and it just has so many compartments and on the wedding day, I can literally work out of here. So I take the hair dryer out and then in here I have some hairsprays sort of just sat in these rows here and then I will take them out and use them as I need to. I keep hairsprays in the kit and then I also have hairsprays out of my kit so that I can work with them and I don't have to necessarily repack every single item back into here. So I do have two of some of each product. In this first like compartment, you can put scissors in it and stuff if you do hair cutting, but I don't. So I just keep a little box with all my pins in it that I'll show you. And then this side is where I would slot all of my hot tools into. And then I've also got like some hair padding and I've also got my heat gloves in here. So I just keep all of my little bits and bobs in here so that I've got everything and then in this front compartment I have clips as well. So I'll show you all of the items that I actually use day to day for hair styling and I will link below my caddy if it's still in stock so that if anyone wanted it you can pick it up. So this is my hair kit, this is everything that I use. So I'll start off first with my like sprays and stuff. These are my hairsprays that I use. I use the Silhouette Swatch Scarf hairspray in the flexible hold and then the more sort of like strong hold. These are great, they're really big bottles. I believe these are 750 ml and they're just super huge. Great for like pro work so that you like, they just last forever. Then I've got my Silhouette Pump Spray. This is a really, really good working spray. It is a pump hairspray, so it is a water sort of formulation rather than an aerosol spray. Less sticky, it dries down really quick, but you can work with it, which means that basically if you brush it out, you can go over that piece of hair and restyle it, and it's not gonna have that sort of tacky residue that the aerosol hairspray would give you. So. It is a really, really good working hairspray and you can get all of these in Sally's. Really, really great. I will link it below just because I get through so many of these. I literally buy like five, six of them at a time, but it's amazing. Then I've got the Red Ken Blast Wax. This stuff is expensive, but again, it's an absolute must have. It's basically like a dry ish oil it's called a wax but to explain it it's like a dry oil use it very sparingly and make sure that you are sort of holding it 30 centimeters away from the hair if you basically use too much of this it will just make the hair look really greasy but it's great for flyaways and finishing off hair i like it particularly when i am creating lines or ridges in the hair or if i'm using a really clean hairstyle but if i'm doing like boho really messy soft hairstyles then I wouldn't I really I, I just wouldn't pick this up it's very rarely used in my kit um, which is why I don't mind spending the money on it but I would mainly use this for updos and if I'm creating those clean textured updos with like bridges or lines in the crown area this is really nice to get rid of those flyaways then I've got the Osis Tame Wild this is another product that you will see so many hairstylists using it's an absolute ride or die this is basically like a curl cream. It's a white cream texture. I put it on the back of my hand and I rub it through my fingers really sparingly and it's just great at smoothing down the hair ready for an updo. I particularly use this when I'm doing my buns. Wouldn't really use this on the top layer of the hair again because it can be quite weighing down on the hair. So I prefer to use it in my styling of the bun. But if I am trying to create a smooth texture on the hair at the top of the head, then I would prep the hair um, by straightening it and then putting the curl in just to get rid of any flyaways. And then I would use this to comb out any flyaways using my fork comb. 
these are my powders so my root powders i absolutely love the osis root powder this i use right at the root because it gives the best volume and the best texture the best grip the best um like grit for when you're back combing this works so much more effectively than any other powder i've used and then this one is the got to be pump dry shampoo like powder talc spray similar to the osis but this is great throughout the hair i find this one's really lightweight so this is great if you're doing like a half up half down you've done some curls but the hair is very silky and you want to add a little bit of texture or like fluffiness to the curls um, so that they're really soft boho romantic um, sort of messy undone type look this is really nice because it doesn't create a residue on the hair so where it's so lightweight it doesn't leave a texture in the hair you can go back over it and curl it and it works perfectly fine it's, it's a lot more workable Whereas the Osis, I do find that I can literally just use it on the roots. I would personally not take this any lower. I wouldn't use it on the rest of the hair to sort of give it any fluff. Because say you need to go back over it with a curling wand, I do feel like this leaves, it sort of melts and goes into a bit of a waxy texture. I just find it doesn't work as nicely. It does leave a bit more of a residue where it's slightly heavier because you are sort of... Um, tapping it out and it's in bigger chunks whereas this is a lot more finely milled i hope that makes sense but yeah this i absolutely love you can get it in Superdrug, boots amazon you can get several of them in a, in a bulk buy you can also get all of these products on amazon so if you're not a sally salon services member or you don't get trade discount or vat free or any of those things to trade stores then you can get these on amazon but they sometimes do these in like sets of three and four so you do save money. Here is my Denman brush. This is what I use to brush out um, a client's hair before starting any styling. It's just got really sort of smooth bristles um, but it's got no sort of bobbles on the end of these so it doesn't get caught on the client's hair and it's great for hair extensions as well. I just love it. It really fluffs out hair so that I can give it a good old brush without um, hurting the scalp or anything. Then I've got this thing uh this was literally a pound from aliexpress or amazon some people call it a topsy tail some people call it a loop um some people call it a, a weave it or whatever it's basically essentially you would slide it into let me show you actually on my doll so i do have two dolls here you would slide it into the hair like so and then you would put this piece of hair through it and pull it down and it would basically pull that through so this is super handy to weave in these bits of hair that we we have here on the doll so it looks like it's coming from elsewhere but actually we've just looped it so like this piece here is looped here but it's hidden behind this layer of hair so it's super cool for stuff like that so i absolutely love this product so inexpensive definitely a must for messy updos then i've got a slightly broken uh, fork comb but I use this comb literally just for the fork and this is great for putting under the crown area and pulling at the back combing that you've done underneath so that you can create that volume on the crown area to try and make it bigger if they want more volume there. Then I've got my sectioning comb. This is also great for back combing sometimes if I'm trying to do a very, very light back comb. If someone's got thick hair, I can get away with using this comb and it creates a slightly lighter back comb rather than a really sort of bushy, uh, knotted back comb so I can get away with this if I'm doing something a little bit more lightweight but I also use it to section and then this is my back combing comb if I'm working on finer hair and I really need to get some back combing in there to add some volume and texture this is great just because it's got so many more bristles and it will create a really sort of dense back combing effect so I love this brush then I've got all my pins here these are just uh, I believe they're called French pins, so they're they're wide open. They don't they don't close together or anything. These are great, and I actually use these for creating the lines in the hair. So when I create those lines or dimension in the crown of the hair, these slide in so that I can then spray those lines, and then they sort of set in place. I've got quite a few of them as well because I also use them if there's any little bits of hair that I want to pin away, but I don't want it to be really tight because I may be going back in and like rearranging the the strands of the bun so like the formation i may 
twist a piece over and use this just to prop it in place but then I may go back and go actually I don't want it to sit there so then I can I can slide these out because they're not sort of permanently slotted in and then these are all my normal Kirby grips so I've just got them in several colours then I've got clear elastics these are what I use to put my ponytails together when I do my updos these are just little sectioning clips um, I use these just to hold back little bits of the fringe uh, if I've sectioned it and I want to keep those bits out so that they're loose and curled to frame the face and I use these and then I've also got bigger ones if I'm doing Hollywood waves so I use these to set the waves and just hold them in place but they can also be used to get hair out of the face and then here these are my padding so I've kept this one out to show you but I basically buy these from Primark and what you do is where it's a donut there's a section on one of the sides where you can cut a thread and basically it will unravel into like a big sock basically once you unravel it it'll be about a meter to a meter and a half long and then you just slice it into these sections and then you can wrap these sections around however you like and pin that into place um, so that you've created someone's hair padding if they need some extra volume because they may have uh, thin hair or if they just want a really big um, updo so I have hair padding there, I have them in all different colours, blonde, I've got the brown, the black, but yeah they're super helpful, I carry those everywhere and I use them in pretty much every client. It's very popular just so that I can just create that really full updo. Then I've got heat glove, I've got a comb, this is great for my Hollywood waves. Then I've got little grips, these are just great for sectioning, pretty much that's all I use them for. Hair tools, I've got the Diva hair straightener nothing special I used to have the GHD one but they pretty much work exactly the same so I do just use the diva one for curler I've got the Mark Hill pick and mix ones I've got about eight of these ones you just clip in the attachment you need so I've got two of the actual plug-in attachments and then I've got the small barrel the medium barrel I've then got this one which is like an oval and then I've also got the crimp part, the wave barrels and the straightener barrel. So I've got quite a few of these. They're good as a little backup um, for straightening and crimping. But otherwise I pretty much use them just with these three barrels to create different curls in the hair. That is my hair kit. So hopefully that was helpful. Let me know what products you use and any recommendations that you've got for my kit. Link down below your hair kit because I'd love to see what you carry. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. The traveling kind, it's a known fact. Yeah, I know that. I hope